are you serious? Explosion on the sun. Yes, a solar flare, what they call a sun blast, has released a powerful CME, and it's headed directly for the Earth. It will make a direct hit on New Year's Eve. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yes. Well, that's the one way to bring in this brand new year with an apocalyptic CME. But that's exactly what they are forecasting right now. Uh, it happened Monday. There was a sunspot, a sunspot cluster uh, eruption. Uh, it was not, and I repeat, it was not an, an X-class solar flare. But it was a direct, it was a powerful, what they call sun blast, and it released a powerful CME or corona mass ejection directly headed toward the earth and it will hit the earth. Now, although the flare certainly wasn't the strength of a major X class, uh, which of course is the most powerful class of solar flares, this event did trigger a significant coronal mass ejection, or we'll call them CMEs. It's currently racing in the distance in the direction of the Earth. Space weather forecasters are predicting a direct hit with Earth's magnetic field on or around New Year's Eve, potentially sparking some natural fireworks in the upper atmosphere just in time for the 2016 and a new year. Sunspot AR2374 has an unstable beta gamma magnetic field that could explode again in the hours ahead. Uh, according to NASA's Tony Phillips, who is uh, reporting uh, to spaceweather.com. Now, NOAA forecasters are estimating a 55% chance of an additional M class flares and a 10% chance of if even a X-class flare. But we know for sure that this sunspot, this eruption on the sun, is coming directly toward the Earth. It will be a direct impact, and it will happen on New Year's Eve. Now, what's so amazing, of course, you guys know me, who've been following me on YouTube, that every year I do a New Year's Eve live broadcast uh, at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com and I'll also air it here on YouTube. And uh, I uh, always go through the apocalyptic events of the, of the current year and bring forth apocalyptic points to watch for in the year to come. Now, twice during these live broadcasts, Blackbirds fell out of the sky while I was on the air live in BB, Arkansas. The year that brought in 2011, and then the year that brought in 2012, back to back. We had those things happen while on the air live, people freaking out in BB, Arkansas, as blackbirds were falling all over the ground. 5,000 birds fell the first time, 6,000 the second time. Um, could it be this year's New Year's Eve is a, an impact? from a CME or something else. Cause let me just share with you. There is terror threats all over the world right now. High, I mean extremely high concerns in New York City, but also in Belgium and in France and in the United Kingdom, all over Europe, uh, Canada, and in Australia, all over, folks. There are very, very, very con uh, much concern of a terrorist attack on New Year's Eve as well. So I'll be live. We'll be covering it all. We'll be reflecting on this year of 2015 and uh, revealing the 16 apocalyptic points for the year 2016 coming up to watch for. We'll review last year's points. It's quite fascinating. And uh, it will be a New Year's Eve to remember. I, I guarantee you will enjoy the broadcast. It'll be extremely informative and we will uh, be with you to the midnight hour. Now, uh, East Coast time, that's East Coast time. Now, these flares, these CMEs are different uh, beasts, folks. 
They're triggered by the same magnetic phenomenon during periods of high magnetic activity on the sun. The sun's internal magnetic field forces its way through the sun's photosphere. This mag- magnetism exposes the inner sun, which is counterintuitively cooler, and therefore it appears darker, all right, than the sun's chromosphere, which is the layer of atmosphere above the photosphere and the corona. The sun's extended and multi-million degree atmosphere is the corona. Therefore, magnetically, active regions can be easily seen on the sun's dark disk as spots and clusters of dark spots known as sunspots. As the magnetic field lines become forced together, um, these sunspots' magnetic reconnections may occur, accelerating the solar plasma to a relative, uh, relative speeds, very extreme fast speeds, folks. Uh, now, we did a report on this yesterday that in 2012 there was a mass ejection, a coronal mass ejection, that just barely missed the Earth, but it was so powerful. NASA knew it was coming. There was a decision not to tell the, the public because they didn't know if it was going to hit us or not, and it missed Earth. Had it hit Earth, it would have, without question, fried major power grid somewhere in the world, wherever the direct hit hit. And this took place in the year 2012. We just now were told about it yesterday in a 44-page White House uh, report and how close we were to being literally a cataclysmic event. So having said that, that's not what this thing is predicted to do, but it is a strong corona mass ejection, and it's headed this way, and the earth will feel its direct impact tomorrow on New Year's Eve. This could cause an earthquake because of the pressure it puts on the tectonic plates. It could cause a tsunami from an earthquake. It could cause a volcanic eruption, or it could affect power grids or, uh, you know, radar uh, for the uh, aviation industry. Now, I, we, 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 we gave everybody a heads up uh, about a week or so ago about one coming. It did hit the earth. We had two earthquakes. One was 6.2, one was 6.6. And all of the, uh, almost half the city of Memphis, Tennessee went dark. All right. Uh, so who knows what this one will bring. This will be a more direct hit than that one, but it could hit in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and not affect anything. Who knows? Be with me tomorrow night on my live New Year's Eve broadcast. All right? Don't miss it. It starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. I'll take you into the midnight hour. God bless. Are you serious? Are you saved? Folks, but I'm not joking when I tell you it's the coming apocalypse.